What's up guys, Lewin here at GarageBand and beyond doing a review today of a thing called MIDI Guitar for GarageBand, which is an app that's been out for a few months on the App Store, of course. Um, and if you don't know, what it does is turn your regular old electric guitar into a MIDI guitar or a MIDI controller, however you want to think of it. Um, but basically, it means that you can... ...play your guitar and have access to all the software instruments on GarageBand. Super cool, $39.99 on the App Store. I bought mine, you know, a couple months ago out of curiosity because I, you know, I've always wanted a MIDI guitar. But they're sort of expensive and like the good pickups are super expensive and the cheap guitars are just sort of, eh, I don't like them that much. So um, this is really a great alternative and it works really well. So let's look at it. One of my favorite things about this particular application is this user interface that you're looking at right now. So clean, so simple to understand. Um, everything is very self-explanatory. Uh, I will make one note that when you open it for the very first time, its sample rate is up at 512, um, but you'll see this little symbol here. Uh, if it's sort of, you know, it's cautioning you that the buffer size is too high and that it will cause latency. So what I found on my Mac, what worked best for me was 256. And I have no problem with that. It counts. It works. And there's no latency at all. I have read online um, that there are latency issues, and I have a feeling those people haven't found the buffering size tab yet. But uh, if you get this thing, which I recommend you do, just be aware of that. So now let's look at it in GarageBand and play with some sounds. All right. So basically, yeah, you open MIDI guitar first, then you open up uh, GarageBand second or whatever order you want. And um, it will just then control all the software instruments. So like here's a piano. I will say it's a little tricky, like your hammer-ons have to be nice and clean. If they're not, well that time I got it. But I, you know, if you're taking like a fast guitar solo or something, it won't track every single note because either you're playing too fast for the computer um, or you know, you just don't hit the note cleanly. So the, the application has a hard time tracking the note. But it's, you know, like I said, it's super fun, works on lots of sounds, all the sounds. <laughs> I mean, as a guitar player, I got to say, it is super fun just to, you know, you sit here and play your regular old guitar and you get all these totally brand new sounds out of it. It is really, really fun. Like things like this, this is... Right? I mean, it's just a... I would never be able to play that on guitar, really. Um, super fun. Oh, and, it, you know, I will say for organs and stuff, if you're going to use this, like, this is where I think it would be really great for people who don't know how to play keyboards necessarily, but you know all the chords on the guitar. One thing I will say to you guys who get this and you're trying to use this in place of a keyboard, it's important to remember that, um, you know, a lot of keyboard players just play triads on their right hand, right? So essentially, it's just, you know, it is just the three notes of the chord. So instead of playing chord here i definitely recommend just playing like little pe like three notes of the chord the three notes of the chords so i mean that's a little bit of music you know education you got to have but it definitely sounds more accurate if you do it like that instead of playing like a huge guitar chord you know Right? It doesn't track it right and it gets a little garbly. So just do the triads and you'll be a lot better off. Um, so that's it pretty much it, you guys. You know, it's just a super fun app. If you do buy this, I think you'll have a lot of fun playing around with it. And it's a definitely useful thing if you're recording and you don't have a keyboard um, to use. This makes your life a lot, lot easier. You guys, I think that's about it for today. 
Thank you again for watching and all your support. I really appreciate it. And uh, definitely hit the subscribe button below if you haven't already. Find me on Facebook and come over and chat. And uh, for you Patreon people, get ready because we're going to be starting to do those Google Hangouts pretty soon. And we will talk to you later. Have a good day, guys. See ya.